morning, Sandra Dreef here, and as you can see, I'm back on the road again. And uh, this time, I'm uh, doing a old-fashioned sketch walk in the uh, in the town or village. I believe it is a town called Vlisteren. It is uh, very remote. And uh, yeah, as you uh, all know, I'm a traveling sketcher, and I fill my life with experiences so that I uh, have something to have some stories to share. Uh, but lately, I have been to uh, three events: uh, Comic Con uh, and some something like uh, Japanese uh, cosplay. Is, is that the right term? I don't know. People dress up uh, and uh, yeah, like they're superheroes. And uh, also another event. And it turns out it was a huge waiting line. And uh, yeah, even though I was one of the first, but I always have to. Uh, take a little bit of time. I will show you later why. Uh, uh, because uh, yeah, I have to pack a lot of things uh, if I have to go on a sketch walk. So in the meantime, there was a long waiting line already formed. And yeah, I cannot stand for very long uh, anymore. And uh, this is also the reason that I'm using the iPad lately, because yeah, uh, it's getting a little bit uh, difficult, uh, so to speak, with all the art supplies that uh, yeah, as you all know. Uh, we have to carry around with us and uh, put uh, put it around us, and uh, yeah, that is difficult. Uh, once again, I will show you later what I have to bring along uh, for my kind of sketch work. But anyway, um, yeah, today is uh, uh, also a public holiday in the Netherlands. It's going to be warm. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day. You will uh, see it later. And as I said, I'm uh, on my way to the little town of Flisteren. It is uh, yeah some sort of. Uh, Huge estate. It's a long time, very long time. I did a good old-fashioned sketch work. So uh, come along in this video, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye bye. It has been quite some time since I visited an estate somewhere in the Netherlands that is full of history. Landgoed Vilsteren is such a place, and because it is summertime now and many people come to events, I wanted to do more slow travel and also show you this part of the Netherlands. Together with the drawings I made this day on my iPad, which I have to use more and more lately, because I can't walk very well anymore with the stuff you need to draw somewhere nice. The village of Hilsteren is located in a wooden area, which is closely connected to the knight Herman van Vilsteren, who was appointed by the Bishop of Utrecht in the Middle Ages to act as a protector. And he was thus assigned this area as a residence. Vilsteren is characterized by associated farms, fields, wet hay meadows along the river Vecht, and rough grounds with sheep. From the end of the 18th century, Vilsteren also acquired an estate character. Through inheritance, among other things, various owners ensured the arrival of a country estate with a park, a church, a school, an inn, the mill and few farms. Furthermore, the wildlands were reclaimed and wooded, and they embellished the landscape around the village. Once I arrived at the village of Vilsteren, I immediately noticed a large estate house called Huis Vilsteren or Groot Spijker. The current Huis Vilsteren was built in 1908. The architect is Eduard Kuipers, and the architectural style is Neo Renaissance. The predecessor of this house also stood on this spot but was much more sober. This house was a country retreat for several generations. The successive owners of the estate lived in the city of Zwolle at the time. Huis Vilsteren is also popularly known as Groot Spijker. Spijker is pronounced as Spieker. That comes from the Latin word Spicarium, which means storehouse of grain. In the time of the Knights of Vilsteren, there was such a Spieker on the spot where the harvest of the collective farmers was stored in order to better defend it. The village of Vilsteren is located entirely on the estate. The structure of the village is determined on the one hand by the agricultural origins and on the other hand by the age-old relationships with the estate. The core of the village consists of a small meadow, surrounded by one of the things, the church, a few farms, a mill and the house Vilsteren. The policy of the estate is aimed at preventing the village from becoming a visual island. The estate has always been very careful with regard to new construction and renovations. 
As a result, most of this village has been given official status of protected village view. The status is not limited to the buildings present in the village alone, but also focuses on the interplay of buildings, green elements, open spaces and the relationship between the village and the surrounding area. Nowadays, the village is often visited by mostly older people who go along long bike rides through the Vechtal area. At the place where I had a great view to draw the large flour mill, many cyclists pass by and the resident also passed by and told me many things about history. I always find that's very special of drawing somewhere in the place. Unexpected encounters with friendly people who just give you a unique knowledge of history. I also found the many beech trees very beautiful and it was a pity that I could not reach the forest path with my walker, but well, I discovered a nice path to draw anyway. So I told you earlier this morning that, uh, yeah, um, for me, the way I do my sketching, I, I, uh, yeah, I bring a lot of gear also for my uh, disability in my legs. I have lymphedema in my legs, as you have seen it already. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a difficult thing. So um, I'm starting to use the iPad uh, a little bit more lately, because if you see, this is what I have to bring along. So this is what I bring along with me. There you can see there is uh, the, the easel box with uh, all my traditional medium. There is uh, the large uh, easel that you can put out in uh, if you're somewhere in a field. And you can you can set that uh, for your for your sketching and uh, oil painting. There is my iPad uh, case. Here are the several things I need like the gimbal, a tripod, and there on the front seat there is a bag that uh, for the usual things that I have to bring along, also uh, medication and so on. Uh, of course, something uh, to drink. And uh, yeah, I have put it all on my walker. There is the GoPro uh, because I am going inside uh, this church. When it comes down to the traveling sketching as I like to do it, it is about moments in time I want to capture so I can anchor my memories of what a day like this makes so special to me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. After the wonderful sketch walk in Vilsteren, I wanted to do it over again, but this time I wanted to try a more touristy place, because for my upcoming trip to Asia Link Sketchwalk in Suwon in Korea, I have to get used to sketching in a large crowd. So I went to the village of Volendam, which is very well known for typical Dutch traditions. But as I thought, it was extremely warm, and so much bright light that I could only manage a sketch in the area called the maze, before I had to go somewhere with a bit more shade. So I went into the Volendam Museum, where I had a wonderful time enjoying the presentation of all the items, which makes Volendam so unique. Good morning, Sander Dreef here. And as you know, I'm a traveling sketcher and I uh, collect experiences so that I have stories to share. And today I'm in the town of Volendam. And I am here, I'm sitting in front of the Volendam Museum. You already saw earlier that it's uh, pretty touristy and uh, especially on the dike uh, with, uh, with the great lake, the IJsselmeer, as uh, we call it here. But uh, there are some very beautiful houses uh, 
uh, some streets behind uh, the tourist location and that is where I'm going to uh, do some urban sketching because I'm uh, preparing myself for Asia Link Sketchwalk uh, later on this year. So uh, I thought it was a nice idea to come to this place. Uh, never been here before actually. And uh, yeah, so it was high time. So I'm going into the Volendam Museum and uh, there you can see uh, uh, all sorts of uh, traditional uh, customs that this uh, town is known for, mainly fishermen, uh, fishermen activities. And uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. So come along, join me in this video and uh, hopefully I'm going to make some sketches as well. Bye bye. Nou, dank u wel meneer. En als, u, als u klaar bent, dan mag u heel graag iets in ons boek schrijven. Maar natuurlijk, dat zal ik ja. zeker doen. Ja, dat is ook Dank u wel. De Volendams Museum was founded in 1977 and shows important subjects from the history of the unique village of Volendam. The many paintings and scenes provide a nice overview of the traditional costume, daily life and fishing. In the main hall, an annually changing exhibition takes place in the large display case. Also here is the bell pole, where newlywed couples use to herald their marriage. But the bell was also rung in the event of calamities. Various scenes are depicted in the side rooms, such as the real apple blossom interior, which was the fashion in the past. There are also many objects relating to fishing, such as ship tools and tools for making and repairing sails. Therefore, I could not resist the chance to demonstrate how people eat a herring in the Netherlands. Although, the most eaten fish here in Volendam is the eel. So I'm in the museum. Uh, it's all about the traditional uh, way of life uh, back in the old days and also nowadays here in Volendam. And uh, I will show you the traditional Dutch way of eating a herring. Here it is. And then you do it like... <coughs> Just kidding, of course, I'm a vegetarian, but uh, yeah. <laughs> But I found it fascinating to see the many skill models and that is what I wanted to remember from this day so I drew one on the iPad so let's get it done tried to get over to the dike so I could participate in the fun activities such as dressing up in traditional costumes at Fotograaf Zwarthoed. But as I said, I have certain medical issues so walking a long distance is a struggle as I found out that day. But also there are not any costumes in my size anyway. So after my visit to the museum and sketching the maze neighborhood, I decided to drive around for a bit just to show you how lovely this area is. Thank you for watching and until the next one. Or as they say here, ayush, that means bye bye.